Hello, my Jimmy here, back with some more Warframe. Now, it is very rare these days that I actually do a Warframe video, as there's mostly nothing to talk about, as, let's be honest, uh, it's been done to death by other more you know, famous YouTubers. I am mostly a nobody here. But, every so often, there is something that, at least in my humble opinion, I would like to talk about. And, of course, there are many things in this de re well, recent as of recording this video and all the rest, uh, the Deadlock update, uh, which I did a lot of things, a new Warframe and a bunch of other, like, changes and additions to Fortuna and stuff, but one thing that is probably not going to be talked about much by a lot of people is the new mower, and which is also quite a nice addition. It's a, it's a melee-themed mower with actually a really strong ability to give itself a ton of shields and stuff like that. But anyway, that's besides the point. I am here to actually talk about the new weapon that it comes with, the Hellstrom. And all I'm going to say is this thing is actually an incredibly welcome addition for one main reason. It is actually a strong enough weapon to actually be on par, if not potentially better, than things like the Death Machine Rifle Prime. Uh, if you've got a decent ribbon for it, the Sweeper Prime, which is a decent, but actually, I should revisit that weapon. I, admittedly, I have not revisited the Sweeper Prime since several updates ago when they changed the shotgun status mechanics, but anyway. Uh, that and uh, Deconstructor Prime. Deconstructor Prime is still probably the strongest sing in terms of single target damage. It just kills things way above its weight class, well over level 100. The Hellstrom is essentially, for those who don't know, if I get to the meat and potatoes of what this thing is, this thing is a burst fire rocket launcher. Homing rockets. That is probably one of the most key things. This thing fires homing rockets. Now, as you can tell by the stats here, this is the rough build I am working with. Now, here's the thing. My Death Machine Rifle Prime does have a Riven, um, which I will be comparing it against. So, the fact that this thing does as much damage as you will see in a second, without a Riven, shows you this thing's sheer potential. Rivens obviously have not... Uh, it, you know, they're not a thing yet for, for this weapon, it's still too new of a weapon, they're not exactly on the market, and the ones that will be on the market will cost a fortune. Thankfully, I do have 3.1k plaque kicking around. Not that I plan to spend it all on such a uh, such a ribbon, but I will probably have to invest in one. But anyway, the rockets themselves, they, as you can see the sort of damage here we're dealing with here. Um, because of the whole status changes a little while ago, uh, I'm going to be using Viral and Heat for this experiment here. Uh, the rockets do obviously have an explosion radius of 3 meters. Not a lot, admittedly, but it's the fact that it is explosive uh, and can spread the damage around. The... Other stats here, it is slow on the fire rate. You can see in the build here, I have Vile Acceleration and Speed Trigger. You can kind of get away with just Vile Acceleration without Speed Trigger if you want to add another damage mod in there, but this is where a Riven would slot in there quite nicely, something with extra damage on the Riven, uh, and, you know, attack speed, and maybe something else, maybe like an element or something, I don't know. Um, but the crit stats are essentially non-existent, do not bot uh, look at those, but the 84% Status chance is definitely where it's at in that regard. Uh, and yeah, other stats are kind of meaningless here. So we'll get to the um, point here and just show you a, a few tests. Um, I'll be pitting, pitting it up against some level 50 um, ancient, um, ancient disruptors. I'm not going to go through every single uh, faction. I'm just going to use some infested just so you guys can get the idea and basically just say that this is actually a weapon you guys really should look into um, and just, just pl uh, play around with here. So... Of course, Death Death Cube here will open up with an initial um, initial vaporize here, and well, the rockets are definitely slow. Uh, they do not travel very quickly at all. But the fact that they're blowing up these these ancients incredibly quickly, it's like two volleys of rockets, and they're pretty much dead. If not dead, well, that guy is just on fire, <laughs> waving his arms around. And of course, Sentinel AI, I swear, is a little bit glitchy. I think that's always just been a thing. Uh, Moa AI is definitely a bit more consistent, and okay, you vaporize that enemy to finish. Um, so there's that. Now, Death Machine Rifle is a lot more closer range, if I'm being honest with you. Because of the homing nature of these rockets, it doesn't actually matter about range. Uh, it's kind of why with a mower, mowers can obviously hit things, or they'll target things that they can roughly see. They don't. Act, there's, there's no fixed range like Sentinels. Um, so that's the advantage there and things like um, I kind of this is an experimental build actually if you want to have a look at this one I was experimenting with terminal velocity to get a faster obviously projectile and I was thinking in an open world scenario You had you had like say dirigeur or maybe a mower uh, You take the planes for example. What if a Dargan flies overhead? Um, your companion could launch a volley of rockets that literally will just 
track the enemy. It's very hard for me to show you the tracking in this video, because uh, obviously the AI aren't going to really move around a lot, but um, trust me, they do track quite well. And you'll notice, actually, I'll just say one thing, Heavy Caliber is in here. Um, it does spread the rockets out a little bit, but they still track. They'll, they will still hit the target. If not directly, the explosion will certainly hit them. So um, there is that there. Anyway, Death Machine Rifle Prime. I've shown you this thing before. It is certainly a powerful weapon and, well, the Riven is definitely not perfect as well. You can see, I mean, it's still a lot of damage. 272% uh, with 220-ish nearly um, slash damage. A little bit negative to Infested, but doesn't actually matter. Uh, we're, we're using corrosive cold, and that's mostly because I've just got the um, the former uh, the polarity set like this way. And I kind of wanted to keep the primed cryo rounds here just to give a decent amount of damage, 451 uh, per shot. And you, I was still trying to do the whole um, the whole crit thing here, which with mixed results, I still the riven still technically isn't crit. I told you, I've told that story before. Trying to brute force crit with the riven here. Now, Death Machine Right Foot Primus <coughs> is certainly. Um, it's certainly decent if I'd rather choke on my own spit, um, but you kind of have to get you have to get a lot closer. It will still chew through enemies very quickly, as you can kind of see here. Just like I mean, considering they're, we're a lot closer range as well, most of the bullets are hitting, um, so it does it does chew through enemies nice and quick, as you can see here. It didn't take doesn't does not take long at all. Obviously, the Sentinel has to like spool up the uh, the gun and actually. Uh, track the target. Sentinel AI is definitely a little bit buggy. Moa would probably be a bit better there. Um, so in closer quarter situation, my death, at least my specific death machine rifle, will probably still be better. Um, but for ranged um, stuff, and assuming you didn't, you didn't have like a crazy, um, uh, where is it here? Um, crazy Volklock sniper build. Um, I think this is, is this the one? It might be, it might not be, where I had a bunch of fire rate and stuff to actually make the slow fire rate not so bad. The each shot's going to hit like a damn truck. I mean, you can kind of see here, 3,000 damage with a 7 times multiplier. This thing hits hard, but it's slow. With, uh, with the Hellstrom, it's a lot faster. You can re this thing can really pump out the rockets, um, with at least two, um, well, 2.27 fire rate with the two fire rate mods as shown. If you had a Warframe that increases fire rate, like um, I think Wisp actually seems to increase fire rate for your Sentinels, yeah, this thing keeps firing out rockets like no one's business. It's actually really fun to watch. Uh, and this thing can clear rooms quite quick, uh, quite quickly depending on your Sentinel slash companion AI. But bearing in mind, as I said in the beginning, we don't have a Riven here. With a Riven, this weapon would really be absolutely disgusting. I'm kind of hoping the disposition is decent, it doesn't plummet through the floor, although I think when Rivens mostly come out anyway, they're going to be at least neutral disposition, so assuming people don't, not many, too many people use this thing, we're going to have some pretty good dispositions going on here, and the Rivens are going to be absolutely disgusting for this thing, potentially. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now because you get the point. Eight minutes of me rambling about this weapon. Long, uh, the bottom line is definitely get the Hellstrom and give it a try if you're like me and you like your um, your companions that have decent weapons because this thing is really good. So put the time in and the former to build it right. This build you can actually see already. It's only three former. Not too bad. It's uh, at least assuming, uh, assuming former is actually something that you don't have a lot of. I... I'm not actually, like, as much as I have Platinum, I'm not actually that rich right now. I'm technically almost broke, monetarily speaking, but that Plat's actually been there from some time ago when I had money. Whatever. So, definitely get the weapon, definitely form it up, and have a play around with it. Uh, and, of course, um, I suppose at the end of this, uh, let me know what you think. If you've already had time to play with this weapon, or you're going to play with it, or just in the future, t tell me in the description. What do you think of this weapon? It's actually... I'm just glad to actually see another decently competitive weapon in, you know, in the, that sort of area of things. In, in the Sentinel area, we just don't have very many strong Sentinel weapons, but here we do have another decent one. So it's actually nice to see some variation in here. Because, um, I've got to be honest with you, if I'm using Helios, it's Deconstructor all the way. If I'm not using Helios, then it's always Death Machine Rifle. Now I have something else to choose from. Part of me kind of hopes it doesn't get nerfed, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. It's actually a kind of ridiculously strong for what it is. Cross my fingers, it won't get nerfed. So, I'm going to shut up now. So yeah, let me, th let me know what you think of this weapon down below in the comments. Link to the Discord is in the description as always. And you know the draw by now. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.